Sorry. I, I mean, yes, yeah? we're on. We're Are missing we on? a guitar player. Yeah. Throw it in. Are you good? Yeah. Are we allowed? How do we, and does, do we have a way of seeing what people are saying? Um, yeah, we can look on my phone on the chat room. Great. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> have fun, guys. Please make welcome to the stage, Nashville's very own, Hawktail. <laughs> Sure. Let's go with that. Oh, did he hear you say that? <laughs> Was the delay on his end? <coughs> Hopefully. Okay. So that's like it is then? Do we have a way for him to uh He can call me if there's a problem. Okay.
Alrighty. Well, that's fun. That's like a. That feels good. That's fun. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Um, hopefully, there's more than two people on the internet. <laughs> um, but uh, we are Hawktail. Thanks so much to Signature Sounds in the parlor room for having us. And uh, hope everything's sounding all good. We got some good people helping us out. So. It just got colder here, the sun went down, we're outside in Nashville, Tennessee.
read the te you read the messages okay. coming in while I say something um, that I've predetermined. Uh, got someone requests natural bridge blues, which uh, I believe we learned from the playing of Fred Cockerum. That's a good one. We were kind of playing around with it during the quote unquote sound check. We're actually in my backyard right now. Gina's listening. Hi, Gina. <laughs> We're gonna keep rolling with our set list here. Here's uh, the first track off of our new record, Formations. Came out in January. It's called Anne Bjorg.
Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That was fun. Okay. Um, I don't know if you scroll down to see more or. Yeah, usually it doesn't like refresh. Mm -hmm. Well, this sure is a lot of fun. I'm having so much fun, and it feels so much like playing music that I felt like we were just writing a new song, and I just completely forgot <laughs> how the song went there in the middle for a minute. Um, next, we're going to play our tune, Last One on the Line. And uh, yes, we are in Paul's backyard. And uh, s thank you, Phyllis. And yeah. <laughs> There's too many nice things to respond to them all, but we're so happy that y'all are watching, so thank you. It's a beautiful time of year in Nashville right now that hasn't gotten too cold yet. It's a little bit nippy to be playing, playing but we're pretty good. Um, in case anyone who's watching is curious how we're doing this, we have a little sound system set up and Dave Cinco at the audio helm on our end as well as Jared Libby over from the parlor room on uh, the other end in Massachusetts. And um, yeah, it's so that it feels more like a show for us and we're having a good time. So I hope you are too.
That one was called Last One on the Line. Give it up. Give like a clappy emoji or something for Dominic Leslie playing the mandolin over there. Or a heart or a care or something. Really great. Make him feel welcome. Really great to be here playing a gig in Paul's backyard. Super fun place to play a gig. I never thought I'd see the day, Paul, but here we are. <laughs> playing a gig in your backyard. It's pretty great, actually. Maybe, maybe it'll just be like this from now on. Maybe we'll just play gigs back here. I don't get in the car anymore. <laughs> I like the car. You still get to be in the car for like five minutes to drive over here from your house. <laughs> it's a little bit too far to walk. So we'll, we'll do our uh, cover tune that it comes from the great band Vessen of Sweden, who we love very dearly. And um, it's one of theirs called One Hour in Hungary, our take on it.
Diddle. That is uh, off of our new records, Formations, that came out back in January. And I guess, you know what? The last gig we all played together was at the um, at the Back Porch Festival in Northampton. Signature Sounds Back Porch Festival. Yeah. Wild times. I was worried about a lot of dumb things back then, but none of them were a global pandemic at that point. <laughs> Funny how things change. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then our album release tour was struck down in the prime of its youth. Shortly thereafter. We were hoping Padiddle would be the feel-good hit of the summer, but no dice. some lovely yellow peppers that are just flourishing right now that my friend Brian grew and I don't know if you can hear this but the, you can hear the sound of the insects and the trees <laughs> here comes our mascot oh <gasps>
There have been some comments about the, the masks, so I want to tell you that they were made by Paul's mom, and we're so thankful to get them and be able to say something <laughs> with our faces. Um, and so I just wanted to say, because we had this grand idea that we might still do, but somebody actually already guessed it, that, that we might be having like an anagram kind of thing. Um, so we might break that out later actually they're kind of reversible not like inside outside but upside downside out in the kitchen inside <laughs> outside out in the kitchen <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Keep checking in on you. Make sure you're all doing all right. Um. <laughs> um. I'll let you read that for a second while I say something. How about that? Go for it. Um, this next tune we're gonna play is the last track from our album, Unless. And it it kind of. If you're creative, you can your imagination can kind of go in all kinds of places, and like uh, it's almost programmatic or, or something. You can. It's called Frog and Toad. You can imagine what kind of shenanigans those two got into this time. <laughs> you, I mean, everybody's anything? just saying like really sweet things. Hi, you know, Hi. nice stuff from my mom. Nice stuff from Dom's dad. Um, Trace is in there, and Reed, and um, John Rutsky. I'm glad that we are making you happy. It's our honor. Um, let's see. And then there's some stuff about upcoming parlor room. Yeah, John Woodward, <laughs> hi. And uh, Phyllis thinks that we sound like the Charlie Brown music, which I like, I like Just that. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Paul, your new baby cousin, Lucy, says hello. Oh my gosh, hello, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, her parents. Yay. Lucy, this is for you. <laughs> I hope commenting continues even after live music comes back. Oh, Jared reminded me that we should tell people that you can get our music 
on the internet. <laughs> um, our website, which is hocktailmusic.com. And um, if you search for us on Bandcamp, you'll find all the records, the CDs, the vinyl of formations, um, and some posters, the sheet music poster and the other poster. Jordan has a new record that just came out on Padiddle Records, which is our record label that Paul runs. And uh, yeah, so there's our, our records on that. You can find all that stuff in all those places. And we would be so happy if you kept listening in whatever way you choose. <laughs> That's the toad part. <laughs> Thank you. 
And uh, I guess we're approaching the end now. Quickly. Are we going to do one more tune? Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in there on the World Wide Webs. This is for y'all in whatever uh, strange circumstances these might be, but I'd say we're all making the best of it. And cheers to that. Yes. And it uh, looks like we got one more tune on the list here. Um, this is one off of our new-ish record, our new record. And it's called The Tobogganist for all you winter sports enthusiasts. Your season's coming right up here. Here's The Tobogganist. Thanks again so much for tuning in. At least there's still people with loud trucks out there.
Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny to like be done and then get a text message that says, you could do an encore. <laughs> but I guess that's the way of the future. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks, Jared. And thank you so much to the Parlor Room for hosting this event for us. Um, what a wonderful venue that we love so much. So we're happy to, to be involved with them in whatever way. And uh, we've got a little... Um, scene change happening over there but um we could play another tune what will it be uh, what else do we got let's see like um, what about we're gonna have to yeah we might well we could just stand in the I order play play <laughs> <laughs> um and thanks again to dave cinco on the, on the nashville sound the live sound <laughs> very lucky to have him here and uh thanks to everybody and uh hi and we send so much love out to y'all and can't wait to see you in person soon somewhere I stand here, and we just maybe just... This is the same mask I was wearing, <laughs> but it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Uh, but not, not like a touch bow, Thank like a social you. distance bow. Can, yeah, you right. Right. Can you read it? Can you read it? Thank you. Thanks, Paul's mom. <laughs> <laughs> so what tune will we play? Um, maybe just something kind of... That was great. Right. That really worked out. Um... Okay, we'll play, um, this is a beautiful tune by the great guitar player Scott Nygaard. He's also a d great tune writer, and this is one of his called The Dreamer's Waltz. It's a good tune to play under the stars.